Hello, welcome back to the final video. And in this video, I will show you some of my favorite website building tools. So whether you're using LibGuides, WordPress, or another software, um, I have used these tools at every library I have worked at um, because they are very helpful. So the first is w3schools.com. Um, it is the best place that I have found to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, anything that you need to do for a website. So you don't have to learn all of HTML and be a pro in order to use LibGuides or WordPress, but sometimes there's something small that you wanna do, like say how to center an image, um, and you need to figure out how to do that, like what the code is um, for doing that. So you can um, either Google center an image, HTML, W3 schools, um, or go to the W3 Schools website and search. But they have this awesome how-to section, which will give you the code that you need to center an image. So you would just replace this image source with the link to your image, and then um, copy the rest of that code into your website. And then you would add the CSS um, for center into your website also. And um, there you can see on this left side, all of the how to's that they give for building a navigation bar and then all the variations of that. Uh, so it is very helpful. Um, HTML, uh, if you're not already familiar with it, is kind of like the basic building blocks of a website um, where things are positioned, um, where a CSS is more of the style of the website, so what the fonts and colors are, um, it, the width and the margin of things. And CSS you set in one place and then you refer to it in your HTML. So you can set a certain class, in this case it's called center, and then you refer to it in your HTML. Um, so that's kind of the difference between HTML and CSS and um, W3 schools will have a much better explanation of it, I'm sure. JavaScript is usually used for interactive portions of a website. Um, I have not had much need to work with JavaScript. Um, Bootstrap is used for accessibility purposes um, and it can help you make columns on your website that are more accessible than HTML tables. Um, and Bootstrap is pretty easy to learn uh, and can be very helpful if you're building your website from scratch or doing some major customizations on a WordPress or LibGuide site. So my next favorite tool is um, called Wave and it is from the organization WebAIM and I will put a link in the course guide that accompanies this video. But it is a browser extension that you install and when you pull up any website, you can click on it and it will highlight the accessibility features or flaws on the website. So here I clicked on Wave and on the library website and it put in all of these labels and icons telling me all of the accessibility features or flaws. So to find out more information, I can click on one of these and this is telling me that um, it's very low contrast the, in the colors. So someone with low vision may have trouble seeing that. And then there are other features and it will tell you, and so if you're not sure what low contrast means, you can click on the information icon and it will tell you all about low contrast. Um, so WebAIM is not the be all end all for web accessibility, but it is a great tool and will get you very far in building accessible content. So that is um, my top two website building tools. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I wish you the best of luck in building your library's website.